What's going on, y'all? I'm gonna try today for bass. We're going for big largemouth. Try to throw this little Savage Gear bluegill, this little three inch bluegill. See if there's any big girls that want to chomp. Looks good, waters are high. High level right now, it's been raining a lot. So, not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll give it hell, let's see. Let's see what she does. Drag, make sure it's not too loose, not too tight. All right, y'all, not your typical catch, but <laughs> I didn't snag him. He ate it. Big old lizard down there, about a six and a half, seven footer. I did not snag him. He ate my little bluegill. He's not happy. He's running right to me. I'm still on them. 12 pound fluorocarbon, 20 pound liter. I'd say he's holding up pretty well. He is not happy. There he goes. He's swimming out. Probably not gonna hold him much longer, but we'll see. It was getting sketchy. <laughs> he's right there. He's right there, boys. Come on, YouTube wants to see you guys. Show everybody them pearly whites. He's right down there. <laughs> He's, he just sat down. Of course, I had to hook him on my light tackle. Couldn't have been on my heavy rod. But yet again, I wasn't going for him. I was trying to catch bass. All right, you guys see them bubbles? That's where his head's at right now. Son of a gun. He's just sitting there. Oh, I'm moving him. There's my leader. You guys can't see it. leader right there. Come on, focus. Anyway. Put some tension on him. There he's coming. There he is. <laughs> he does not want to say hi to you guys. Alright, let's walk with him. It's alright, buddy. I'll walk with you. I'm assuming he's the alpha male in this tiny little pond. Then again, I can be wrong, but it is a tiny pond. So let's hope this is the biggest one in here. Probably not, it is Florida. He's still on. He's hugging the bottom. Oh, come on. It's 
Tell you what, gotta give it to you guys. You guys that lose this rod is pretty badass. So far I've caught a tarpon, about a 20 pound tarpon on it, a couple bass and this six foot gator that I'm hooked onto now. And it's holding up. Come on. For those of you who go Florida folk or anybody who has gator hunted before, you know what he's doing right now. He's just sitting there, he's hugging the bottom. And of course, <laughs> I'm not gonna move him if he doesn't want to on this light tackle, so I'm just irritating him. Usually I would not be chucking giant boulders into the water like I am now, but I'm trying to irritate him enough to where he has no choice but to start moving. And it's not working, <laughs> thus far at least. Come on. Yep, here we go. That worked. <laughs> oh, come on, he's just going deeper. Oh, it worked. Not sure if I'm gonna land him, but he moved. Oh man, he is trying everything to hold that bottom. And I am shocked this rod is still holding. Look at that. He's pissed, look at them bubbles. <laughs> Gas in the mouth, he's gotta come up soon. At this point, I'm just horsing him. Looks like I'm, yep, I lifted him a little bit. Oh man, he's strong. <laughs> All right, here we go. He just broke me off. Yeah, I didn't, didn't think nor did I expect to land him. There he is right there bubbles well so much for that I think I'm gonna go home on that note I was only here about 20 minutes and that damn lizard ate my swim bait thank god I have two more in the truck but yeah of course like I said he would go for my 12 pound rig 12 pound on 20 pound liter i'd say it did pretty well though I held him out there for quite a while i think the only reason why i broke him off was because he was holding ground so hard um there's got to be boulders or something down there because he was just there was no moving him but yeah if you guys enjoyed that hit the like button please subscribe tell your friends family and we'll catch you on the next one until then, take care, God bless.